see ya. We're sitting down with two millennials on the move, co-founders Stephanie Cardin and Courtney Spritzer. Stephanie and I started Social Fly together because we both shared a passion for social media. We decided to start the business together on the side of our full-time jobs, and then we quit our jobs on the same day of May of 2012 and never looked back. So how did the two of you work together? Courtney and I have, I would say, a pretty opposite skill set. So we're really able to divide and conquer. I focus mostly on our sales and marketing, our business development, and Courtney focuses on our finance and operations. And this way we're really able to make a really big impact at what we each do and get things done. The office culture here is very exciting. We are a team of millennials and it's very important for us to not take ourselves too seriously. We work in social media and it's important for us to just have fun with it. We work really hard for our clients and it's important for us to bond as a team and celebrate every moment. What are some of the things that you've implemented here? The first thing we did was we appointed a head of fun at our office because having fun is actually one of our core values here. Everyone gets a themed birthday party at Social Fly. And we also do a lot of events outside of the office, whether it's an event that Courtney and I are speaking at or involved in and then everyone gets to come, or just an event where we decide we want to go out and try the new bar that opened up across the street and have a team bonding event. So it's really important for us to all come together and get to know each other, not just in the office, but outside of the office as well. We hear often and we read in articles that millennials are really tough to motivate. How do you motivate your staff here? Millennials are looking for a fun place to work. They really want to feel passionate about what they're doing. So it's important for us to hire people who are super passionate about social media. We check in with our employees constantly. We're constantly providing them feedback, which is really important to millennials. And then based on their strengths, we try to get them to positions that make sense for what they're really good at. And it makes them feel really good about themselves. So if you could give other business owners, other supervisors, some advice when it comes to leading and inspiring this demographic, what advice would you give? really get to know your employees and find out what's most important to them and customize your approach at rewarding them based on what's important to that individual.